Good day to all my hunters and wyvarians. Today I'd like to show you a build of mine that I kind of enjoy to play. I just need to get more used to it. It's called the Guard Sword. Now, the Great Sword is a unique weapon as it has no shield but still guards. The downsides to this is if you guard, normally your sharpness gets reduced. And as I say normally, well, there's two jewels that will stop this. There's the Grinder 1 jewel, which will stop your weapon from losing sharpness when you guard. And there's the 3 slot Grinder th uh, 2 jewel, which slightly raises your sharpness. Now when I say slightly, I mean if you have a 3 slot naturally, I'd say go ahead and put the Grinder 2 on because why not? But if you only have a 2 slot or 1 slot, you're going to be fine with the grinder jewel because the grinder 2 jewel, the sharpness recovery is negligible at best. And you're probably not going to notice it. So, yeah, personal preference. Now, as you can see on the screen, I do have some skills that are only really looking for three skills, and that is the guard, guard up, and offensive guard. These are the only skills you need to max offensive guard because of attack power and mo and a lot of time you're gonna hit that perfect three time guard. But first, let's talk about the downsides to this build. Downside one: you're gonna have to use the guard tackle, which means you only have 180 degrees of protection versus the guard tackle's 100, 360. Downside two: you're gonna go a lot further with the guard tackle. So you're going to have to get distance and positioning right. And downside three. You're not going to be able to use surge slash as you're going to want to be able to use guard tackle at any point at as little notice as possible. But what are the good sides? One, the guard tackle no longer takes any sharpness reduction if you put the grinder jewels on. You're going to go a lot further, which means you can use it to close gaps. And if you block a monster's hit with this, you're going to be immediately put into the third stage of your combo, meaning the Rage Slash or True Charge. Which with this, I'd really recommend the True Charge, unless you're fighting a very hyper monster, in which case, have one scroll having True Charge and one scroll having Rage. But most of the time I'd run True Charge on this. Now, the only other upside to this is Offensive Guard also works with the Strong Arm Stance. Which also puts you in the third move of your combo. So, it's immediately, main focus of this is do something to get you into the third part of your combo while defending yourself. Like I said, it takes getting used to because you can't go all in and you're going to have to know the monster's moveset. But when you land a shoulder tackle into a true charge, it is very satisfying to pull off. Especially considering you only have to hit once. And depending on how much guard up you have, you can easily just say, ha, that tickled me. But... Like I said, it's a completely different feel than any other great sword build. Like the Surge Slash combo, which has extra elemental damage depending on which one you use. Or you can choose Part Break or extra damage in general. Or the normal great sword, where it is slower, but you can deal a lot more damage. And you don't on both of those, you don't really need to worry about where you're going as much as... Oh, I'm going to stand here and the monster's going to land here. Instead of, oh, I'm going to land here where the monster's landing here. And less likely to make mistakes. But if you can learn the distances and positions, this is a very great build. And very satisfying to pull off and very satisfying to kill monsters with. And all in all, it's another way to play great Greatsword, which is just fun in itself says every great sword user but it is also capable of putting out putting out that big damage so if you liked the video thumbs up if you didn't set the thumbs down if you want to see more of these build videos i got some other niche builds 
and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.